because of uh, my presence here, I've seen DSS police. But what I did not expect, did not also have, did not expect to see soldiers, and they are not here. But I don't know whether they are within the perimeters of this place. And the security agents are also uh, very uh, disciplined not to intrude into the voting area. I'm surprised that the EFCC are not here. The EFCC officials are not here. The EFCC goes to people who have likely, who the likely suspects might be engaging in money laundering and vote buying. They know I won't buy votes, so it would have been a waste of their time, their energy, and their resources uh, to be going after an anti-corruption fighter who is trying to save the country. I think they know better where to go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let, let me ask the last question. The outcome of the election so far, what do you have to say? We don't to have you? an outcome. I yes. know. Yeah. Because you know Nigerians, this tradition of, ah, I lose, I'm the loser, I will, I will instigate violence after the post-election. Well, I don't belong in the category of people who believe in violence, yeah. but I also would say that we cannot make any conclusive remarks regarding the election until the elections are over. If, for instance, you finish voting and the outcome does not reflect you know, I mean, the desires of the people, you don't expect them to fold their arms. So it's up to INEC to conduct a free and fair election, credible election, and uh, then we can decide how to respond to the final result. It's so as simple as that. message to the youth to be calm. Younger brothers, real younger brothers. This is blood brothers, and they are not all in my political party. In fact, I has has four political parties: PDP, APC, AAC, uh, and I think there, somebody was saying they belong to another party. Yes, yes, I have. Is there a Labour Party in the house? <laughs> well, whoever is in the Labour Party has not shown up in the family meeting yet. Uh, we will handle that at the family level. So, but uh, it's an amazing day here today, uh, and uh, we hope for. The best uh, in Nigeria, and if everybody conduct the election this way, everywhere across Nigeria, there is no way we will lose. It's not possible. But uh, we are waiting for the end of the election. I, I hope you guys made your own commitments. <laughs> <laughs> The most important thing is that the election presents uh, a unique opportunity. Yes, yes. Each of the region yes. has uh, their own presidential candidate. Yes. And the interesting thing is that at the end of uh, the election, nobody should come back and say Yoruba nation. <laughs> Yoruba, they have, have their own opportunity now to uh, participate. Yes. And, and, and the, the, the Biafrans, yeah. well, they you are know, now. I, I don't think. Elections determine what people agitate for, you know? <laughs> so uh, that's the most important thing. But uh, it's an election, and the reason why people agitate for nationhood is because they don't get justice within the nation itself. If there's justice for everybody, nobody will be. Americans conduct elections, and there's a section of America that say they have every election they will tell you that they have seceded from America. But after the election, and they start getting paid for work. And they get social security, healthcare, good schools for their children. Those uh, determinations fizzle out. I think elections are partially why 
people allow elections to happen during this period is because they post the agitations. You know, the Yoruba nation people are watching what it should be. The Biafrans are watching what it should be. If at the end of the day, election guarantees some kind of hope that they can they can live in a country where there is justice and respect for their fundamental rights, social economic rights, then they decide to abandon the struggle. In the reasons of it, the agitation actually came about because of injustice in this country. Yes. And if we have an election that is so free, fair, and uh, peaceful, you can everybody will. Votes will be counted, and uh, there won't be any agitation. As the result, yeah, uh, yeah, as soon as the result reflects so, the outcome of the election, you can imagine everywhere now. The reports we have gotten so far show that the election is lower since money has been peaceful. Yeah. And the reason why it's peaceful this time is because of the technology know-how that is injected into the system this period. Yeah. Ordinarily, by now, what somebody would have been cutting away the no ballot boxes here and there. But with Beavers now, you will know that uh, you need, just need to go and work. Yeah. You can ask people and your character and integrity will come to play this time around. Not uh, money. Not money. Not money. Because the coordinator who has and the, money. And the issue of, the issue of money, <laughs> I think it's a breakthrough for all of us that this time around we will go into an election where money will not be the order of the day. That's the BDP speaking. <laughs> 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 okay, he, that's the APC people saying yeah, that yeah, yeah. they are happy with the lack of, of money. The system. Because I heard they got their money last night. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. For, yeah, for yeah. us in BDP, well, the only currency we are spending now is our character. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard that uh, you brought uh, just a uh, few Dollars and no, you didn't see your own. You have to Check that pocket, though. All right, all right. Thank you so much.